Shoo, shoo, get, get. Jeez. Way too many vermin here. All right, well, as you saw earlier, we've got a very special display today. Making sure the camera's actually working. So what these are, our RCMP dress boots. Uh, they're the Strathcona riding boot, the Alberta boot makes for the RCMP. I happened to get a set of these second hand at a uh, military surplus store. These are one of the earlier models that the Alberta boot company made. So we will dive in, take a look, and see what you guys think of these. All right, so does any of you guys know that kind of like uh, boots or history in Canada, you'll, or really anyone in Canada should recognize these as the boots that the RCMP use. They're high browns informally, but uh, this is their dress boot. This used to be their primary boot, but um, obviously it has its limitations for <laughs> chasing down crooks or what, what have you. Um, so this set was made by the Alberta Boot Company. Um, there's, I don't really have any date in them for when they were made. All the only information in them is 11D, so. But uh, I picked these up surplus from a place out east in Ontario, I believe, and they shipped them out to me. Uh, these retail for around $725 new, supposedly. Uh, I got this set for around $150, so that's a pretty good savings in my opinion for a boot that you're not going to really wear for practical applications. <laughs> but um, anyway, to go over these, the design of this boot revolves around riding, obviously. you got the heel here for hooking into your spurs and your high tops for protecting your legs and whatnot, but leading up to these design, the cavalry wore a really high boot up to around their knees. This is around the Boer War era. And uh, their boots came right up to their knees. And I don't think they had this, they didn't have quite a gusset in here. So anyway, they're looking for something to improve upon. Like these boots protected their knees really well. But if they're dismounted or just doing everyday stuff off their horse, um, the mobility really wasn't there. So they ended up coming with this design and quickly adopted it. And one of the guys there, uh, Steele, last name Steele, who went on to help with the uh, Northwest Mounted Police, who went on to be the RCMP, brought this boot with them as an adoption. And then, of course, they were black to begin with. And then they switched to the brown boot when they went with the Sam Brown belt, similar to this guy here, who needs leather conditioning, as you can see. Throw one of these guys down. This guy, I did the laces on him. So this is made in Calgary, Alberta, and obviously you can see that they're not as polished as RCMP members' boots because, well, I didn't have that much time on hand. <laughs> Pretty much a religion in the RCMP polishing your boots. Uh, so I'll bring in closer here, as you can see. We got blackened welt around the sole. Uh, stitch sole, uh, obviously brown leather, the rest of it. Got this gusset or this sewn in piece here to splice the two parts of the boot together because there's a seam running down the front here all the way and a seam running down the back here all the way. So this is what connects the two halves of the boot because it'd be hard to find a perfect piece of leather that fits this whole thing. Other things you can notice is that there's this big gusset in here and the purpose of that was to increase mobility because there's a great big loose piece of leather behind here that folds over on itself and you lace them from bottom to middle, top to middle, and then you end up tying them somewhere near the middle. The laces should be about even at the middle point. So one of them, I always pull a little harder on the toe so it slowly creeps down. And then you also have a gusset up here for adjusting the tightness around your calf. So obviously if you're in the RCMP, or if you are in the RCMP, thanks for watching, uh, 
your boots will be far more polished than this. Um, I've done some polishing on the toe, not much to write home about, but just, uh, I think it's called Sultan something boot polish. I just put it on the toe, but really there's like five or six different types of boot polish they use from black to brown and they do the whole boot from top to bottom. You got a leather sole on it. These were brand new when I got them. And these ones have a built right leather sole heel cap. And you can see the sizing here. You got 11D. So you got the stamping on the sole there. And then also inside here, you got 11D right here as well. So I'll bring you in for a closer look. We'll look at the construction and whatnot. Uh, I'll pull the laces out of the other boot and show you some of the inside features. All right, so looking at the Strathcona boot, I took the laces out for you. Let's just get more of an idea how this thing laces apart. Take the rest of this top lace out. So, as you can see here, these don't lace like a normal shoe. And they got this great big gusset here. And that's your mobility. And on a big boot like this, you really want this area to have mobility because nothing else bends from here to here. That's all you have. So your lacing and this gusset is all your mobility. Of course, if you're riding, you want it nice and snug, but you can back this off to have a little more mobility. So looking at this construction, you can see the stitch sole looks to be single stitched all the way around leather sole you see my scuff marks I thought about taking these in and having a vibram sole put on it to be a more functional boot but I've not done that yet uh, looks like I got three layers in the sole here blackened welt you see it's come apart a little bit there but that's to be expected and then stacked heel, single stack, with a rubber cap. Fairly thick rubber cap, you can see here. And there's that built right sole on the bottom. That 11, 11D. Let me see where the die ended right there. I thought it would have been nice for them to dye the front of that. There's a little water repellency on that open edge, but well. Go. Here's our stitching. So you got two rows of double stitching to make up four. Uh, double row across here for attaching your uppers to your lowers. And then a double row of stitching all the way through the eyelets. See it there. Open off, so you're fluffing there. Double stitching across here. And you can see where my uh, wax ended right here. It is very waxy wax. It takes a really nice polish. I'll show you this stuff. Um, I'll throw a picture of it in the end there. But you can see the toe here. This is just a cotton t-shirt. Foot in there a little bit. And it really cleans up nice. And if it was applied regularly, you wouldn't see those creases quite as bad, but yeah, it comes up nice. Not too much comes off on the cloth either. And today's t-shirt is Addy's Army. So shout out to Addy's Army. So, as you can see, these stitches come all the way up through the eyelets. Terminate underneath this. Looks like they stitch across. And then come back down. And then you got this. Try to get this in the shot here. This extra gusset. Where I'm not sure what the term for this is, but it's like a just a cover piece to add additional strength to this seam. Double stitched all the way to the top. Single stitching right at the top of the boot. 
double stitching for the gusset around here and then single stitching to close up this edge keep it from tear out you got seven eyelets 14 total and if you look inside you see it's kind of a rough leather on the inside it hasn't really been finished that fine this tab comes over that's stitched on the back here looks like they stitched that on first because there's a stitch across here but no stitch there so looking down inside the boot take it up a little bit here you can see this gusset here and that's this great big gusset on the hole of the boot uh, right at the bottom there see a leather heel sole and then there's actually no slide going into the heel so I'm wondering if maybe that would ever peel up but this uh, tongue here is actually starting to peel up where the glue didn't quite take but yeah, I'll go to Alberta boot and see if I'll fix that so let's uh, do a bit of a lacing demo I'll get the boot set up here and show you guys how these go together it's quite tedious all right, moving on to lacing. Really scared my camera's not going to record something like this because it takes quite a while to do all this. So, pull this in here. Your laces kind of do something weird here. They go in here, come down to the bottom on the opposite, come over the top, underneath, and then over. So, I want these about the same length. Pull those out to approximately the same length. Okay. Then it doesn't matter if you start from the top or the bottom, the important part is that this is tucked inside. So you tuck this lace inside. And it's always going to be running down here. But let's start at the bottom here so you can see that the best. So I've gone in, underneath, over top, down, up, through, and I'm going to go over, and over and down, pull through. I'm going to go up on the same side, and then over and down. Up one eye, up, over, down. Uh, I always pinch the back side here if I'm going to pull these tighter. Okay. And then back up, over, and down. So this is about where you'd leave it to put your boot on. Of course, you'd loosen these up a little bit, but you got to unlace and relace right around in here every time you put your boot in or else your foot can't make this corner coming through here. Uh, these boots are professionally fitted by the RCMP when you get them and they're stretched and they're made for you pretty much. They, they come as a stock boot but they stretch them and make them fit so that this piling in this ankle area doesn't happen but these of course aren't made for me and I don't think they'll do that for free so I don't think they'd do it at all. But anyway, coming from the top, and I go across and down, down one and up. Across and down, down one, and up. Cross, down, up, or down one, and up through the eye. So I'm not sure if this is dress shoes like this. My main dress shoes are actually monk straps, so I don't really care for laces that much. My dress shoes are just the straps look cleaner. This is much more of a formal lace type, so you don't see any knots or... Oh, see, I screwed up there. Yammer into the camera. Down the hole. 
over, down one, and up. See? Find the hole. Okay. So you see, my top one ended up shorter than my bottom one. Because I pulled that bottom one tight before. But that's not always the worst. You can adjust this however you want. So that when you finally come up and close it, over here. Oh. and you gotta have a cup of tea when you're lacing your boots like this because like the right chore to do it over up you gotta go across and down you gotta leave it there this one's gonna go across down over and after you take up all the slack in your boot. This. 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 And the tops, of course, the same. And you tighten these, and you tighten these, and you tighten these, at least for me. And then you get to the middle. You do it or not. Your bow. And out. And then if you want, you can tuck these inside your laces, and then you'll never see them. And you got a nice clean set of laces here. There. And of course here on the tops. It's a little bit different because you gotta go side to side this way. And then this guy goes across through you skip a hole and come up. This guy goes across, through, skip a hole, and back through. Right? And the same thing. Cross, through, skip a hole, up. And same with this guy. Cross through. Make sure he's on the inside here. Leave him. And this guy comes across through. And then you would tie these up here in your traditional bow. Do this. And you would tuck it behind this gusset plate and that would keep the knot from putting too much pressure on your foot so there you go properly laced Sam Brown now of course if you're here by any means from the direction of a superior saying shine your boots or lace up your boots do what they say do not listen to me because if you get a week's worth of push-ups or janitorial duty. That's not, I don't want it to be my fault. So do what your superior says to do. But those are the RCMP Strathcona High Browns. Thank you very much for watching. Have a great day, everyone.